Top Gun Maverick, released in 2022, is set decades after the original Top Gun film. In the movie, Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell, who was at this point a seasoned Navy pilot, was given the assignment as an instructor at the prestigious Top Gun School to train former Top Gun graduates for a top secret mission. As a renowned pilot, Maverick's flying skills and fearless attitude have become legendary, making him the perfect choice to train these skilled pilots for such a dangerous mission. Maverick started off the training with a bang, competing directly with the trainees in dogfighting. Part of this exercise was to see what his pilots were made of and how they would react when faced with a challenge. The other goal of the exercise was to humble them, having each loser in the dogfighting exercise complete 200 push-ups on the flight line. Maverick ended the day without completing a single push-up. Maverick's unorthodox and potentially reckless methods had a significant impact on the trainees. He pushed each pilot to their limit to ensure they would be able to complete this dangerous mission. This included Lieutenant Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, the son of Maverick's late friend and colleague, Goose. Despite Maverick's intensive training, the performance of the pilots started to plateau below what would be required for them to be able to complete the mission and to make it back home. After observing this lack of progress in the pilots, the Top Gun leadership decided to remove Maverick from his instructor position and replace him with someone that used more conventional training methods. The first thing the new instructor did was to lessen the requirements for the trainees and focus the pilots on simply completing the objective, not on having them perform at the level they would need to complete the objective while getting back safely. This situation weighed heavily on Maverick. He felt responsible for all of these pilots, especially Rooster, and he had no idea what he could do to help them not only complete the mission, but have the ability to make it back home alive. This is where we see the genius of Maverick's unique style of leadership. He understood that what was holding his team back were simply mental barriers, not any kind of lack of ability. They just needed to know what he was asking them to do was even possible. In classic Maverick fashion, he did this by borrowing an F-18 and flying the training course himself to show his trainees that it could be done. They watched intently as he traversed the difficult and dangerous course, operating mere feet away from the mountain range at high speeds. He then dove into a canyon and fired missiles at a target, after which he immediately pulled up at such intense rates that his body had 10 times the force of gravity pushing him into his seat, nearly forcing him to pass out. But he completed it successfully in record time, leaving his students in awe and disbelief. Damn followed quickly by a renewed motivation to accomplish what they thought before was impossible. Sometimes, the role of a leader is to simply open the door to new possibilities. Maverick knew that his trainees could push themselves to accomplish more, but they did not know that. Maverick was able to impart a lot of valuable lessons to his team, but by far his greatest contribution to their success was just to help them see what was possible. Maverick ended up personally leading his team into the mission, taking Rooster with him as his wingman. And due to his training and encouragement, the team was able to accomplish a mission that they believed impossible just weeks prior. And even more important was that by working together, everyone was able to make it back alive. In the realm of leadership, it is not enough for those in positions of authority to merely manage and guide their people. True leaders have a responsibility to inspire and motivate their people by showing them what is possible. By casting a vision and demonstrating what can be achieved, leaders empower their teams to reach new heights, foster innovation, and create a culture of growth and possibility. One of the key responsibilities of a leader is to install belief and confidence in their team members. By sharing examples of success stories, highlighting achievements, or like Maverick, by just showing them yourself, leaders can awaken a sense of self-belief in their people. When individuals witness the accomplishments of others and see that success is attainable, they become motivated to strive for greatness themselves. This creates a ripple effect throughout the organization. As team members become more willing to take risks, push their boundaries, and embrace challenges with a positive mindset. Leaders who show their people what is possible encourage them to challenge existing norms and break through barriers. By demonstrating alternative perspectives and presenting new ideas, leaders foster an environment of innovation and creativity. When team members witness their leader pushing boundaries and embracing change, they feel that they are given permission to do the same. This mindset cultivates a culture of experimentation where individuals feel empowered to explore uncharted territories, seek innovative solutions, and can contribute fresh insights. Your first responsibility as a leader is to lead. It's right there in the word. Be the person that your people can look to when they are not sure how to move forward and accomplish more. If you are able to step up and show your people what is possible, they will rise up to meet the task. All right, I have a challenge for you from today's lesson. I want each of you to answer the question, do you feel like your people are being held back from reaching their potential? If so, 
How can you help them understand what they are capable of? Make sure to put your answer in the comments so that we can all learn from each other. All right, till next time, keep on learning. Thank you for watching. Much of what I go over in my lessons can be found in my book, Mission First, People Always, which is available for purchase through the link in the description of the video. If you enjoyed today's video and want to watch more leadership lessons, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.